I've been covering all my aquariums with lead for reducing water evaporation. Evaporated water condensates on the leads and the walls mostly at night when my room temperature goes down. Aquariums covered with lead have a very high humidity air in the land part of the aquarium all the time. Interestingly, many native North American plants and creatures thrive in these tropical conditions. Water evaporation has profound effect on water quality characteristics in all aquariums. Evaporation of water results in increased level of salinity, minerals and metals concentration in the remaining water. Using leads is necessary for maintaining the quality and water levels in the aquarium. Also water evaporates from plants growing on top of aquariums. I have to add water monthly in aquariums with plants growing on the top, like this one. And without the lid, I would end up adding water weekly in this tank. My 29 gallon covered aquarium needs to be refilled with about less than a gallon water once in a year. Covering aquariums really helps in keeping aquariums healthy. Let's check how fast water evaporates. The water evaporation rate depends on the temperature, humidity, water surface area, among other factors. The temperature in my apartment is set at 72-76 Fahrenheit all year round. I set the water level mark in my 29 gallon covered tank as it is on October 12, 2024. The water level mark in the open tank is at zero. Four days later on October 16, 2024. The water level in the cover tank is on the same mark. The water level in the open tank has dropped 1 cm. That's about how much water would get lost in my cover tank through the whole year. Five days later, on October 21st, the water level in the open tank has dropped another 1 cm. So, in my apartment the water evaporates at the rate of about 1 inch in 2 weeks. I make holes or gaps in lids of all my aquariums for low air circulation. The air is very warm and humid under the lid. Some aquariums are sold with lids, that's great. Some lids need to be fitted properly. Check my previous video about fitting this aquarium cover. And you can always make your own do-it-yourself cover. In the next video I am going to show even a simpler do-it-yourself aquarium cover anyone can make. Have fun and happy aquariums!